Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week in the studio, I want to grout these little animals in the trees that I didn't get to last week. I'm going to go through my studio, find all the weld bond and make sure that gets packed inside because we're gonna dip below freezing. I hope to make some more flotty. That sort of depends on the weather. If it's gonna rain every day, that might not work because I do that outside, but I have another idea for that. Here's the base also that I have avoided prepping for a few weeks. So not sure if I'll get to that or not, but there's some of the flotty I've already made. And swinging over here, I've got all of these little wooden rounds that I got at Michael's and I've already sealed them. So I thought I would make some pine cones and some uh, evergreen trees on some and maybe some birds on some, but I think I have that idea in my head that I can quickly knock out mosaics and I really can't. I'm pretty slow, so I don't know if this is even a practical thing at all, but maybe I'll make one or two. Anyway, I'll have them, so I'm ready. And there's my design I made a couple years ago. I did these on some clear bevels, so I, I don't know how easy it's gonna be to keep the wood clean because I don't wanna mosaic the whole thing. I just wanna put the part of it on there. So we'll see how that goes. I just want to talk about my little animals and how I'm going to finish them off. I picked them all up at Target. These were from the dollar bin, but these two trees are a little bit different. So to give it some more consistency, I'm just going to be painting the edges. And then there was a sticker on the back of these trees and there are some words. So because they're different and they, the sticker residue is there a little bit and there's words, I'm going to paint the back of the trees as well. Now the animals have a different backing. They are just finished with wood and I like that look. I like the natural look and I like the natural look of the bases. So I'm going to leave that for the animals and just paint the edges. But before I do all that, there's a little bit of grout residue that I need to clean up. So I just take a rag and some this is glass cleaner because I happen to have it handy and just wipe it off. I grouted these last night so the grout has not set up 100% yet and that's the best time to clean it up when it's when it hasn't been sitting there. The longer you wait the harder it will be to clean up. <music>
Matthews are over here working on their projects. We've got the owl, and over here we've got the golden bear. He just has to put the sky in. And I'll show you, he's gonna put the last piece in. Here he goes, last piece is going in. Woo! Hey everyone, this week I got some good news. I found out that I have a commission from a repeat customer. So every Christmas, it seems like for the past couple years, she's ordered a couple of gifts for me to hand make, which is wonderful. Whoa. The only thing is she wants an eight by 10 and she wants it framed. And to me, if I frame it, the easiest way is to use a floater frame. And that means I need to have something to screw into, which means a wood base. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any wood bases that are eight by 10 in my studio right now. So I'm going to first go to the hardware store and pick up a birch plywood piece of wood and have them cut it for me in an eight by 10. So I just got back from the store where the nice man cut the wood for me. Now I am perfectly capable of cutting the wood myself, but if I just wait a few minutes, somebody else will do it for me. That's worth it to me. Anyway, here's my haul. I accidentally also bought flowers. But you'll see that these edges are quite rough. So I have to do some sanding. And I also have some in here that are not quite eight by 10. So I'm going to remeasure and set those aside, the ones that are not perfectly eight by 10. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.